everyone. I have the third card for you today in my coolest card series. We're continuing on the snowman theme. You can see this card here where I did some twinkling H2O watercolor techniques, which I will show you in this video. So the supplies that I used, um, I used some more of the Darcy's Heart and Home series of stamps. These are great because they're red rubber cling, so you get a really nice crisp impression. And they also have these fun tin embellishments that fit on there over their faces that you can send to the special people in your life. I used some of the Tim Holtz Distress Watercolor Paper. This is new. Um, I'm really enjoying the quality of this watercolor paper. It's a nice weight and it takes to um, all kinds of different watercolor mediums really, really well. So we have that. This is just an older um, Denami snowflake stamp that I had in my collection and some Colorbox Chalk Ice Blue ink. I'm using my trusty VersaFine black ink. Um, it really looks the best with watercolors. It has a nice crisp impression. So I'm switching it up. I'm not doing a gray outline this time, but um, I have a reason behind that. Using some of the Lawn Fawn um, trimmings. I'm also using this six by six pad from Simple Stories. Um, it has some fun double-sided pattern papers and we're going to use a little bit of this candy cane paper. I'm using my edge distressor again, and then I'm also using um, my Twinkling H2O watercolors. Um, these are a hard cake watercolor paint um, that you add water to them by misting them, and that gets them ready to go and you paint with them. They have a nice shimmer to them have my watercolor paper already cut and we're going to use this scented stamp right here again I really like the packaging of the Darcy's I like how it's on clear and then they have the indexing here for you this peels off and clings to an acrylic block. And we're going to ink it up and stamp it fairly low on the paper. As you can see that right there. There's no need to um, heat set this. We can just go ahead and get started with painting. I actually stick them in here to spritz them. a minute for the water to soak in um, and to get ready you know to soften it to be able to paint with it but I also wanted to mention spritzing the water in here like this is great but you want to make sure that you leave your twinkling H2O's open until they're perfectly dry before you put the covers back on them um, otherwise the moisture in there will tend to um, make a vacuum pack and they'll seal shut and it's really really hard to open it um, I learned from experience on that. So we're going to go ahead and um, get started and get painting. You can see a little bit of paint really goes a long way. You don't have to um, reapply paint to your brush very often. You can do shading and things like that, but for the purpose of this card I really just wanted um, to color everything in. 
In between colors, I just clean my brush. When I'm doing um, the Twinkling H2Os, I like to use just a regular um, watercolor brush. I don't like to use um, the brushes that have the water in them. I just find that you don't have enough control when you're painting in images. For most of my snowman colored, I'm actually going to heat set it so that I can really make sure that all those colors are there. Water touching them really won't affect them too, too much. And heat setting also helps bring out the shimmer in these paints and really makes them pretty. Now that that's nice and dry, I'm going to go ahead in and add just some water where I want my shading to go. Don't worry if a little bit of bleeding happens. Now I'm just going to carry it out. Also gonna get in here with a little bit of this white. This will add shimmer all over his body too. You can see I'm going a lot more generous with this white color. I'm gonna heat set it again. brush I'm gonna go in and do his cheeks it's a bit darker so I'm just gonna dab a little bit more So hopefully this catches on the camera, but you can see the nice, subtle shimmer all throughout that snowman. So what we're going to do is stamp this snowflake stamp. Just I'm using the ice blue chalk ink because it gave me the light impression that I wanted it to be. I didn't want it to be super noticeable. Not doing any masking, I'm just filling in the top rectangle of the image. Now I'm going to um, edge distress this. It's watercolor paper, so it will be a little bit tougher. And I'm only doing it on the sides. see that and for this card I am going to use the full A2 this paper is cut from the simple stories six by six dry. Attach that. Oops. And now I'm actually going to do a bow. So figure out actually
doing it in a knot first. And everybody knows in my classes I don't do bows, but I do find with the twine it is a bit easier to do. Just get my loops going. And then you can just play with them by making them smaller. Nice and cute. I will just leave that long for now. I'm going to use the Hero Arch Chalk Ink in Punch for the sentiment. And we're going to use Winter Wishes. Holding it the right way. So you can see that here. I'm going to go ahead and make my pennant. So I go eyeball it halfway up and then connect the corner to the end of the slit. And then the corner to the end of the slit. a little bit long so I'm going to trim off that excess and we're going to use a little bit of glossy accents for this part That's what I'm going to use for the button as well. Be fairly generous with the glossy accents for something like this. thing about glossy accents is you just want to let it be and not move it around too much. And it will dry. I'm going to trim my ends up. And there you go. We have our third card in the Hero uh, Coolest Card Series, Snowman Cards. I hope you enjoyed this card today and hopefully it will inspire you to get your twinkling H2O's out and play with those again. Thank you for watching.